the woman charged in the murder of eight-year-old Sandra Cantu may be linked to another possible crime. David Begno of our Sacramento station, KOVR, is in Tracy, California, with more. David. Julie, as accused child killer Melissa Huckabee sits on suicide watch in the county jail this morning, there are new and explosive allegations that Huckabee is tied to the report of another child abduction back in January. Melissa Huckabee, the Tracy, California woman charged with the murder of eight-year-old Sandra Cantu, now faces new questions. That months before Cantu disappeared, Huckabee may have taken and drugged yet another seven-year-old neighborhood girl. January 17th, 5.17 p.m., a woman, a neighbor of the Cantu family, calls police to say that her daughter is missing. 5.31 p.m., police report the girl is with Melissa Huckabee at a nearby park. 5.39 p.m., the girl is returned and police leave without filing any charges. Later that very same night, the seven-year-old girl was taken here from the mobile home park to a nearby hospital, where doctors say she tested positive for a muscle relaxer. Immediately raising questions, did Melissa Huckabee drug the girl? Sources say police couldn't prove that because five hours had passed from the time the child was dropped off to the time she tested positive, allowing enough time for the girl to have gotten the pills from someone other than Huckabee. Now, on the night Huckabee was arrested, she told CBS News in a phone conversation that she did, in fact, take the little girl to a nearby park, but she claims she had permission to do it. Huckabee is due back to be arraigned in the Sandra Cantu murder case, Julie, later this week. KOVR's David Begno. Thanks, David. Lisa Bloom is a CBS News legal analyst. Good morning, Lisa. Good morning. What do you make of this January 17th case, and should it affect the current case against Melissa Huckabee? It, it may very well, Julie, and I'll tell you why. In California, prior similar incidents can come into a trial. We saw it in the Phil Spector case. We saw it in the Michael Jackson case. So if it's sufficiently similar to show a motive or a pattern, we have a little girl, seven years old, close in age to Sandra Cantu, who's eight years old, uh, same location in the trailer park, and maybe the same M.O., abducting her and drugging her. We don't know if that's alleged yet in the Sandra Cantu case, but it may very well be. So if you're a prosecutor in this case, you're going after this January 17th incident and looking through everything Absolutely. to see if, if you can link Melissa Huckabee to it? Exactly right. What the prosecutors are going, going to want to see if they can prove to the judge is, is it sufficiently similar? Do the facts line up in a way to show that she's got a pattern of this kind of criminal behavior? So if you're the defense of this case, you're really worried about this January 17th incident, Yeah, correct? they should definitely be worried about it. And they're going to be looking to show that it's dissimilar. This girl maybe just wandered off on her own. Sandra Cantu helped her. They're going to want to show that the benzodiazepine in that little girl's system perhaps came from somewhere else. It's a common ingredient in a lot of cold medications for children. Maybe she got it from a parent or from somebody else in the trailer park. They're going to want to show that it's completely different than this situation. There's some speculation that Sandra Cantu, may, her death may have been accidental. Right. It may have been an accidental overdose. So I'm wondering if this weird January 17th case might even help the defense for Melissa Huckabee. Yeah, I see where you're going, and that makes some sense, of course. Keep in mind that Melissa Huckabee is also charged with sexual assault, so it doesn't sound like an accidental situation. And she's charged with murder. Murder, of course, is an intentional act, premeditated, probably not accidental. Lisa Bloom, thanks so much. Thanks.